and i do also have um the next story which is about dj mo okay not dj mo so <laughs> he there was a bit of a clap back here so let me take you back a bit so bahati released a new song um that is called na anza tena yeah and Revani went on to congratulate co hey hey is power to you power to you lady sip, lady sit lady power to you thank to you. congratulate him for his new song and the good job that he did so um bahati's manager um who is a former gospel artist called wisdom went on to say yani Revani akiwa dar es salaam ana ana to congratulate hey these L's and R's today jesus <laughs> lakini wasani wa gospel wakiwa huku uh, mtaani wanashindwa kukuambia imeweza and he laughed that laughing emoji and then uh, dj mo went on to reply and said brother stop this kupiganisha watu it's time we mature up fanya kazi wacha this crap kindly Ah. Mm -hmm. And did uh Danino wisdom take Haku it? Clap back he, they, 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 clap they, didn't, back. they didn't say anything about, I didn't say anything about a clap back so Oh yeah. Labda aliona baadaye tutajua kali clap back pia yeye. Okay, yeah. okay. You see we've been hosting these people here for a bit yeah. and that is the constant thing we hear yeah. that i would release a song as a, as a gospel musician and i'll send it to my brothers in the industry mm -hmm. and they will say aata mimi niko nakaka kitu kanakuja sisi sukuma yako kama mm. sisi so it's almost sort of like the truth it's the, uh, it's uh, only uh, that yeah. and nobody has been pointed out yeah. so you can't say unagonganisha watu ni watu wa gani au nimegonganisha yeah, exactly. unless yeah. you're talking about yourself DJ Mo yeah because mm -hmm. does dj mo like repost post from you know like other music, gospel other artists, gospel artists yeah. especially since he's a dj yeah. that's the question but you remember we had baraka and we yes. interviewed baraka and he basically just said the same thing same that thing. he'll chuck music and send to them but yeah. they never repost and he gave an example of a secular artist the way they show up for each other exactly the gospel industry is like supposed to be like that but it's not so they they feel bad for being called out for it and yeah because you know they, they preach this brotherhood yeah. do you know christians we are brothers and sisters but when it comes to helping each other yeah you no longer kill brothers and sisters yake. Kill yeah. yake. that's that's unfortunate yeah. i think people you're, you're right people don't like being called out for their yeah BS. yes <laughs> yeah why it take kabisa hey. moving on talking about kutawatu well, all netizens are not very happy <laughs> they're just like eh uh -huh. <laughs> what's going on we talked about this and we all had or oh, our antennas were up to just check out analisa and ben soul kama wako pamoja ama wako pamoja what's happening she's not wearing her wedding ring and then they had all these cryptic messages on social media one took a break said he's cleansing and uh, you know what i'm saying <laughs> so ha huh. Ikakuwa basi kidogo kidogo analisa pete imeanza kuonekana tena. And guys are like ah, are those rings I'm seeing. <laughs> so they're Loki sort of trying to um kill the rumor that they are separated or are separating two months into their marriage. Now the thing that really annoyed Kenyans is that the lady, the billionaire heiress mm -hmm. was making a comeback to reveal her intentions of starting her own clothing line. Okay. Oh wow. So it was So cloud Kenyans chasing? are like, yes. So fans call her out for cloud chasing and majority with the majority getting the idea that they are breaking up. So they're like, mm. why would you do that? Mm -hmm. Like to co invested, yes, but don't use our emotions, we yeah, buy yeah. and you have such a huge following. All you could do is just say you have a clothing like this coming know? up. Yeah. No sashes. But Ben Paul just smacked you out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think the, even this was his idea to be honest. Yeah, yeah, we are two tunatoa pete, tupate cloud. Sawa. Okay, babe. Yes, ma. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma dear. I'm not sang. But you know what? As Kenyans, okay, or or as netizens, we fall for it. See, we think we are All in love the in, the, in their marriage and yeah. in their relationship. So we fall for everything that they do cuz we're out there just following everything that they do. Mm. So I'm I'm thinking if it's really like a heartbreak it's not really easy to go through a heartbreak when you know in the eyes the of eye. everybody mm. Mm. so maybe pia walikuwa have issues but now maybe me i'm just being like the angel here mm -hmm. i just think probably they had an issue probably they did una clothing line ina come through my friend maybe walikuwa mekosana tu lakini wamerudiana alafu akarudiana tu hivi alafu clothing line eh <laughs> I don't think so. Try to make you thank you for trying to be yeah. nice but and, mm. Yeah, you did try. <laughs> <laughs> they work out. You know, I didn't work out. I, I'm sorry guys. 
but I'm sure some people feel the same. Now let's go to Jamaica. <laughs> Talking about uh, dance old star Leroy Razel Jr., aka Tommy Lee Sparta. Now he's a free man because he's been released after 40, 41 days in custody, like police custody. Now he was detained on July 7th <coughs> under the state of public emergency as a person of interest over the upsurge in violence in Mo Montego Bay's capital. Now we've already had stories of gangs in Jamaica and I think basically that's why he was held in I mean in custody for he was not only the only one there were like seven other people but it was basically because of there was an upsurge in you know violence and the gangs you know in Jamaica they have gangs the vibes cartel there's a gang called what is Gaza. it? Gaza. There's Gaza, there's Gaza, and then there's it's Gaza versus there's another else, gang. Yeah. But yeah, mm. basically that's just it. So it's been released now. Hey. Okay. <laughs> wow. okay. But their gangs are serious. Like, they are very serious because they kill people. They, they do. do. How yeah. do you think Vibes Cartel and the yeah. 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 And then they, I don't know why they think they're so invincible. Like if you do these things, <laughs> like in front of witnesses, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be incarcerated, bro. Like yeah. what? Gangster points, ah, gangster no, points. Is now panda nah, too. Yeah. But, uh, okay. So uh, the lawyer said he has not been told that he's inciting anything. He's just told that he has influence of a gang by the name of Sparta Gang. That's what uh, the lawyer after added. His Sparta name. Gang. Yeah, after his name. Gaza was yeah. vibes cartels. Yeah. I want to know this. This other There's guy. There's another one. No, this no, no, Mavado. No, no, no. Mavado. Yes. Mavado also ah, was another guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we're going to find out who's the guy. I'm going to find out who's the guy. Okay. Good try. Good I don't try, think it's they try. are gangs, but it's gangs yeah. that they are affiliated with. So, you know, they, they, yeah, they, affiliations. Because yeah. they, they, they've seen like, like the president, mm. so like in the, the way they script script for, yeah. for Snoop Dogg yes, is another one yes. for. Yeah. So it's I guns that have been there for a while. They're just being Death influenced row. by people. Yeah. 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 Okay. Unfortunate. I yeah. think I think to move on. Yeah. I was yes. about to say something. Yes. Uh, so yeah, 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 it's time for life podcast. Life podcast. <laughs>